Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Is everyone ready for Christmas? It's getting closer. Today I am sharing with you how I made this centerpiece, which you can also use it as a garland or a door swag. So you're going to need a yardstick, some Christmas ornaments, you're going to need some 10 inch deco mesh and some four inch or five inch deco mesh. You're going to need some ribbon, some pipe cleaners, your hot glue gun and glue sticks, and your scissors. And in the description box below, I will add a materials list for you. You can spray paint your yardstick first if you want to and then let it dry. I did not spray paint mine, but I have before. So if you want to spray paint it, do that first and if you're going to be using it as a door swag you'll want to drill a hole in the top of your yardstick so that you can thread a wire through it make a loop and hang it on your door and this deco mesh right here is 5.5 inch and it came from Walmart so you're going to take your pipe cleaners and you're going to go down about two inches and wrap your first pipe cleaner around the center of your yardstick and point the pipe cleaner towards the ceiling Go down about two, two and a half inches, and this one's a little bit different. You're going to twist your pipe cleaner, one on the left side, push it down to the side, grab another pipe cleaner in the same spot, give it a twist, and push it down on the right side. So you'll have a single, then doubles. Now here I'm doing another single, scoot down about two to two and a half inches, give it a twist, and point that one toward the ceiling. Scoot down another couple inches, and now it's time for double pipe cleaners. So you're going to have one pointing to the left and one pointing to the right, and continue this pattern all the way down your yardstick. So just keep going till you get to the very end of your yardstick, and after you have your yardstick finished with your pipe cleaners, then it's time to add your deco mesh. And I will be adding the red 10 inch deco mesh first. The 10 inch deco mesh and the 5.5 inch deco mesh that I'm using on this yardstick centerpiece, both of them came from Walmart. You can use whatever color deco mesh that you want. You can make these for any season, any holiday, any special occasion. You can add a dot of hot glue on your pipe cleaners if you want. I usually just add a dot when I start and when I finish. So the first pipe cleaner and the last pipe cleaner. To start with your deco mesh, you're just going to take your 10 inch, make a poof or a loop, hold it tight in your hand, and put it in your first pipe cleaner and give it a twist, then fluff your loop. For the 10 inch red deco mesh, I am just going to be using the pipe cleaners that are pointed toward the ceiling. So the single pipe cleaner, so I'm going to make a loop and attach it in the single pipe cleaner, skip on down past the double pipe cleaners, make a loop and find that pipe cleaner that's pointed toward the ceiling, push the deco mesh down to the yardstick and give the pipe cleaner a twist. And so I probably, my loops are probably about 12 inches in length each time. Try to be consistent and make your loops about the same size and kind of roll the outer edges inward if you can. And so I am only using the single pipe cleaners for the red 10 inch deco mesh and I'm going all the way down my yardstick and I'm gonna make a poof on the very end just so, like I did at the very beginning. So just gather it in your hand, hold it tightly, go to your bottom pipe cleaner. I know your bottom pipe cleaner might be a double, that's okay. Go ahead and add it because you want both ends to match. Just remember, if you have a double at the very end, after you twist in your red deco mesh, then you'll want to pull your pipe cleaners back out to each side. That way you don't get confused in the pattern. I have made several yardstick door swags and garlands before, but this one I did just a little bit different when I did my pipe cleaners. So if you've seen some previously, you'll know that this one's a little bit different. Now I'm using the 5.5 inch deco mesh and I just made a poof and I just put it in the same pipe cleaner that I did the first red deco mesh poof. Okay, now I am going to be working on the left side of my yardstick. So I'm gonna slide my hand down, make a loop, and go to my 
double pipe cleaners. I'm gonna use the one that's on my left side. Put the deco mesh in, give my pipe cleaner a twist and fluff my loop. Make a loop, go down to my double pipe cleaner, find the one on the left, put my deco mesh in it, give the pipe cleaner a twist. Same steps all the way down. Just remember to try to make your loops the same size each time. So slide your hand down the deco mesh and find your double pipe cleaner, put it in the pipe cleaner and give it a couple twists. Now with the 5.5 inch deco mesh, I am going all the way down the left side onto the end and back up the other side and back to the top. So I'm making a complete circle with this 5.5 inch deco mesh. Now you can use the um, four inch deco mesh from Dollar Tree if you would like. So this yardstick centerpiece is very easy to make. I am just using the two colors of the deco mesh. Same steps. You want your ends to match, so I made a poof on the other end, so I'm making a poof on this end, but I'm not going to cut my deco mesh at this, at this point because I'm gonna continue down the other side. So just make your poof, put it in that bottom pipe cleaner that you put the red poof in, and then start going right back up the other side. Now just slide your hand down it and make your loop. And I did measure it, and mine are between 11 and 12 inches each time. So just try to get it as close as you can. It doesn't have to be exact, but you do want it to be close. Then just go find that double pipe cleaner, the one on the right, push your deco mesh down to the yardstick, give the pipe cleaner a twist around it, fluff your loops. Go all the way to the top, where you did your first poof. Two years ago, I made a similar yardstick door swag around Thanksgiving, and it was my first video that ever got several views. And people have commented how nervous and shaky I was that I made them nervous them just watching me. So I am going to link that tutorial below so you can watch how I was two years ago. And thank you guys that have been with me since the beginning. And here I am going to dovetail the ends of my ribbon. So just take your ribbon, fold your edges to the left, go to your folded side, cut away from the fold, and that's how you get your pretty dovetailed ends. So I am using two colors of ribbon and this ribbon does have wire and it's 2.5 inch width. So I'm going to my first pipe cleaner and twisting the ribbon in and just kind of fluffing the ends. Then I'm going to slide my hand down it. Do not pull your ribbon tight, leave it kind of loose. And then go find your single pipe cleaner and push your ribbon into the pipe cleaner and give it a twist. So for the ribbon, you're going to be using your single pipe cleaners that goes down the center of your yardstick. So not the doubles, just use your singles. Just remember to not pull your ribbon too tight. You want it kind of loose. So just try to make your loops the same size as close as you can each time. Go to your single pipe cleaner, put your ribbon in, give it a twist, go on down to the next. And then remember when you get to the end, you'll want to dovetail your ends of your ribbon. You can add as many colors of ribbon as you would like. I just went with the two colors and just stack them one on top of the other. And then after I get my ribbon finished, I am just going to separate one color out from the other, just like I did there. And then this is how it looks with the deco mesh and the ribbon. Okay, next. You're ready to tie a bow. So I dovetailed my ends, let out a little tail, and I'm just gonna put one ribbon over the top of the other ribbon. And this is the 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire. So let out a tail, then you're going to grab it in your hand, make a loop, pinch it tightly in your left hand, go to the other side, same steps. Make another loop about the same size. So I just made a single bow here, but since I used two colors of ribbon, it ends up being two loops on the left and two loops on the right. Now you can go bigger if you would like, but I just kind of kept it simple. And I did this size bow for the top and bottom 
of the yardstick centerpiece. Just remember to dovetail the ends of your bow and you'll want to have a pipe cleaner close by to wrap around tightly around the center of your bow. So just make sure you get your pipe cleaner tightly around the center and then leave your pipe cleaners long. And now you're ready to fluff your loops. And if you need to, just slide one loop out from under the other, just like that, and just fluff it. Now ribbon with wire is the easiest to work with and makes the prettiest bows. And just remember to go back and dovetail the ends of your bow. For the bow I added in the center, I did go a little bit bigger. I made my loops a little bit longer and I did three loops on the left, three loops on the right for the center bow. To attach your bows to the yardstick, you're just going to want to go to where your first pipe cleaner is. Just go over the top of it. Try to find where there's an opening between the loops of your deco mesh and then wrap the pipe cleaners around the yardstick and go to the very back and give it a few twists. Now in the end, you can take your wire cutters and trim off all the extra pipe cleaners that you started out with. But just make sure you do that before you hang it up. Trim your pipe cleaners off. Okay, here I'm just fluffing my bow, fluffing the tails. And so I added one to each end and then to the center. And if you have any questions about tying bows, I have several bow tutorials on my channel. I just uploaded one, I think it was last week. So if you need help finding one of those, just let me know in the comment section and I will help you. So it looks very pretty just adding the bows to it, but I wanted to add a few more things. So I had picked up some um, light bulb Christmas ornaments at Dollar Tree. I had picked up some stars at Dollar General, some snowflakes, I believe they came from Dollar Tree. So I just had lots of ornaments that I wanted to add to it to give it that little bit of sparkle. Now you could add some battery powered um, LED lights to it if you wanted to. I don't have any right now, I looked, but I think I may get some and add it to it. I also added some candy cane Christmas ornaments that I picked up at Dollar Tree. So I just took and added a little bit of hot glue to the back of the ornament, placed the sparkly one in the center of the bow, held it for just a little bit to let it dry. Be very careful when you're using your hot glue gun. I am using a low temp hot glue gun, very inexpensive from Hobby Lobby, but I really like the low temp hot glue guns. And here I'm just adding the snowflakes, and these came from Dollar Tree. So just wherever you think it needs a little something extra, just add your ornaments. You could add more ribbon in your pipe cleaners if you wanted to. You could cut like eight to 10 inch strips of ribbon, dovetail each of the ends, and then Add them in the little pipe cleaners if you wanted a little bit more ribbon in your centerpiece. And then here I'm just adding the little plastic candy cane Christmas ornaments from Dollar Tree. So I just add a little hot glue and just stuck them right in. And this is how it looks on my table. Now this one matches my Christmas tree. Several of you have watched when I added the ribbon to my Christmas tree, so you probably already know that this matches my Christmas tree. So this is the one I'm going to be using this year on my dining room table for Christmas dinner. You can make yours with whatever color deco mesh and ribbon that you like. This one just happens to match my Christmas tree. I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you so much to those of you that have subscribed to my channel, those of you that always watch and comment and like and share. I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, it doesn't cost a thing, so I would love to have you as a subscriber. And one more thing, if you want to look back and see what I was like two years ago, I'll leave the link to that video. The swag turned out so pretty. I used it as a door swag. This one's gonna be a centerpiece but I think I was a nervous mess and I think, think you'll be surprised. So thank you so much for watching and just remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. I hope you have a wonderful night.